What do you think uh, of your father? Is he tough or is he fair? Is um, he? I think that he that he is tough, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think that he's working on on being fair. Um, I think he's working on his vulnerability and being able to not only express that and show that to his daughter, who he's raising and teaching, and he's he's been a single parent basically since she's three years old. Um, so when you meet us in the play, we're, we've been on this island for 12 years now, mm-hmm. and other than Caliban, this we are right. each other's company. Right. Um, so it's a beautiful uh, father-daughter you know, relationship in that way. What's so, interesting yeah. to me, every time we rehearse the scene with you and Caliban, yeah. and uh, you talk about his vile race, yes. it really pops out yes. to hear this black woman saying, to this monster who's being portrayed by a white man, yeah. talking about the vile race, and I, I think that's why I love Karen, yeah. because without being preachy, without hitting anyone over the head, yeah. she goes, look at this, what right. do you think about this? Right. What's interesting about that, though, is when we first started rehearsing, and I call Caliban a slave, yeah. I call Ariel a slave, and these are both played by, by white men, I found it a little difficult yeah, at first. Yeah, because, takes you back a little bit. Well, yeah, because it's <laughs> like being a descendant of a slave. I remember one of my very first memories before we moved to Germany. I, I grew up in Germany, and we left uh, America when I was very young. And before we left, we visited all the relatives in North Carolina. <laughs> and we went way out in the country. And uh, I remember there was an old, old woman who when I was six, I mean, she must have been Methuselah to me. And she did never talk to me. She was going, uh, 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 losing her faculties a bit. Mm. And they were picking her up out of the bathroom, my, own, my father and my uncle, and taking her back to her bedroom. And her back was lined with scars. Mm. And I was, first, it was my first naked woman. And these scars, and so I literally was transfixed and then my mom saw me, and in her way, she came and put, gave me the Vulcan death grip on my shoulder yeah. and led me gently but firmly out of the room. Mm-hmm. And I said, when, once we got out of sight, I said, Mama, what's wrong? And my mother said, you be kind to her. Mm-hmm. She was a slave. Mm-hmm. And that's my first memory of wow. slavery. And it was directly connected to my family. Yeah. So in calling these men slaves, I, it, it took me a good five minutes right. before I really could lay into right. it. <laughs> right, exactly. This his last play. What is he really? For years, I thought that he was making a statement about religion, mm. about the death of the old English way of thinking uh, of of literally Merlin and Oberon and Titania in right. the woods right. to Jesus. Mm. And then, as I got older. It's like, no, 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 he is writing about, no, I'm at the end of my art, and I'm stopping, and what do I do now? Right. No, the new world had just been discovered. He's saying something about what happens when you discover something you didn't know. And, right. and these people, is Caliban a monster? Does he jabber incoherently? Or is that his language, his culture, right. Right. that we're diminishing? Right, and discovering a world that technically has already been discovered because it already contains right. inhabitants. Right, so, so what right. are you... And back to the strength and the vulnerability, I mean, it takes a lot of vulnerability to forgive and to say, okay, right. you know what? I've been wronged, however, um, none of us are put on this earth uh, to judge one another. We all have flaws, but also the the, sh- the strength also that that takes, you know, right. so they really do work hand in hand and, you know, just going back to, to your character, that's what I think I, as Miranda, and just me as Miriam, as an individual, and you know, as an actress, as I'm learning from you and from the community around me, is how to demonstrate uh, both of those things in tandem. Right. 